Hey everybody, Ash here with Sense. Coming at you today with another fragrance review. This is a fragrance I've been meaning to do a review on for a while now. Uh, people have been asking for it in the comments section of some of my videos and I've had some messages on Facebook as well where people have asked when I'm gonna review this one. It's one that I've really wanted for, for quite a while, ever since it was announced, but I didn't end up picking it up until maybe a month ago. So that makes this more of a new-ish release instead of a, a straight up new release because this is already at discounters. It's been out for a little while. It's the new Hugo Boss The Scent Fragrance, The Scent Private Accord. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and check out this presentation really quickly. We've got the box, you have the name of the house, name of the fragrance on the front here, size and concentration down at the bottom. You can see there on the top of the box, Hugo Boss. There's nothing on the sides of this box, it's just plain. Then on the back, you have your ingredient information. So there it is. And then at the top, you have a little description of the fragrance itself. On the bottom, you have your barcode and your batch code. And the batch code is actually punched into the box right up here in the corner. And here we have the bottle. It's in the typical, the scent bottle design, only now it has this uh, kind of dark copper coloration. Uh, maybe that's not the best way to describe the color, but you can see the difference here. It's not the typical silver or gunmetal color. And then the fragrance itself has more of an amber coloration to it. You can see right here on the bottle, Boss, Hugo Boss, Private Accord. And then it actually says the scent right up here on the collar. The cap does click into place, so you can pick it up from the cap if you want to, as you can see there. Atomizer on this one is pretty good, nothing to say bad about that. And then on the bottom, you have a sticker right there that has your badge code. All right, guys, there we go. The presentation for Hugo Boss, The Scent, Private Accord. This is actually a bottle design that I do really like. Now, a lot of you guys out there that have followed my channel for a while are going to know that I do like The Scent Intense, which is a flanker that came out before this one. And while I don't love the original Hugo Boss, The Scent, I think it's okay. I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people have made it out to be. If you look on Fragrantica, a lot of people have basically just crapped all over Hugo Boss, The Scent, calling it a horrible release. And while I think it's been improved, basically with every single flanker that came after it, which isn't always the case. Sometimes the original is the best one and everything that comes after it is not as good. In this circumstance, the original The Scent is the worst of the entire line, but we wouldn't have fragrances like this one if the original The Scent was never released. So it was good for something. There's also a uh, Parfum edition of the scent, I believe that's what it is, a Parfum edition. It comes in an all black bottle, and I haven't actually had a chance to pick that one up, but that one's definitely on my radar. So if I am able to scoop up a bottle of that, I'll review that one as well. The main thing that sets the scent fragrances apart from all the other fragrances out there is its utilization of Maninka fruit. I believe that there's one other fragrance out there that uses Maninka. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but really the only fragrances that I know that use it, that I've actually smelled myself, are all the fragrances in the, the scent line. And you can pick that Maninka up right away. If you've smelled the scent and then the scent intense and then the scent private accord, that Maninka fruit is what ties all those fragrances together. You can pick it out immediately. It's got kind of a tart, semi-powdery, exotic fruit smell. I guess let's just go ahead and jump into how the scent Private Accord smells to me. Off the top, the scent Private Accord gives me a big blast of cacao. It comes across like a legitimate dark chocolate. That's the kind of vibe that it gives me. There's also a touch of ginger in the opening of this fragrance, but to me, the ginger is dialed down a little bit in the Private Accord release as compared to the scent and the scent intense. It's still there, just not as strong. As well, there's a nice coffee bean note in the opening that sits underneath that dark chocolate. In the opening, the scent Private Accord smells great to me. It's a little dark and sweet, but not overly sweet. It's very, very appealing, especially for cool weather. And once that Maninka fruit starts to come in, which I pick up very early on, it comes with that slight powdery feel and that exotic tart kind of fruitiness that I spoke about earlier. There's like a propeller plane flying over my head or something, or a helicopter maybe. And while the Maninka is a fruity note, it doesn't come across overly sweet, which is a good thing because that semi-tart feel that you get from the Maninka works a lot better with the cacao and coffee than a really sweet fruity note would. Now to me, the cacao note, that chocolate note, really only lasts for about five minutes or at least that's when it stops being the most prominent note that I pick up. After five minutes, the chocolate starts to fall back a bit. So you really only get to enjoy that at its most potent 
and the very initial opening. Now once you head into the mid, the Meninka fruit does start to sweeten up a little bit. Uh, it's not as tart as it was in the opening. And as well, the coffee note starts to uh, dial back a little bit as well. At this point, the ginger starts mixing with the black pepper note. Uh, it gives the fragrance a warm, semi-sweet and spicy feeling in the mid. The Meninka puts off a slightly dusty feel. You've also got that coffee from the opening. Again, it's dialed back a little bit, but it's still there. You can still pick it up. And that mixes with warm spices into the dry down. And into the far dry down, the scent private accord has a semi-sweet Meninka fruit with a chocolatey woodsy base. The scent private accord to me is a clear step up from the scent and the scent intense. It smells richer, better blended, and of higher quality. It just feels better put together. The scent private accord is one that I like to smell the entire day. I find myself going back and re-smelling and re-smelling and re-smelling because it's just so pleasant to me and so appealing to me. I really like wearing it. Now, if you did not like the original The Scent or The Scent Intense, I still think you should at least sample this one because to me, it's almost like they finally figured out what they should have done to begin with. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think the original The Scent is okay, and The Scent Intense I really do like, but this one takes that DNA and makes it just twice as good. Now, if you do like the original The Scent and The Scent Intense, I feel like you're gonna love this one. Now, obviously there's gonna be a couple of you out there where that doesn't apply. You know, there's always the odd man out. But if you do like the DNA of the original and you think that it's a solid fragrance or you like The Scent Intense, this one basically does everything those fragrances do, only better. So I think the chance of you liking those fragrances and not liking this one is very low. Hugo Boss The Scent is not really one of those fragrance lines that carries with it a lot of provenance. It's not a line that people think of and go, oh yeah, that's got fantastic fragrances. It's not like Dior Homme, or for some of you more old school guys, Dior Eau Sauvage, or something even like Chanel Allure Homme, that entire line. A lot of those fragrances get spoken of in very high terms. Hugo Boss The Scent has never been like that. So it's understandable that a lot of people would think that this is maybe not so great. Just my straight up opinion, I really, really enjoy it. And I am so glad that I have a bottle. Do I like it more than some of the other designer releases that I've really, really liked over the past year, some of the newer releases? Things like uh, Luna Rosa Black or Yves Saint Laurent Y Eau de Parfum. Honestly, sitting here today, it's hard for me to say. But do I think of this fragrance up there with those fragrances? Uh, yeah, I'd say I do. Let's talk about performance really quickly. Projection for me is above average, uh, though it's not what I would call beastly. It projects very well off my skin for about an hour and a half to two hours. And longevity for me is above average as well. Eight hours plus each time that I've worn the fragrance. Now to be fair, Hugo Boss with this fragrance, I'm pretty sure is not trying to make a, a projection beast or a longevity monster, something that's gonna choke people out when you walk in the room. But it is a step up in terms of performance over the original The Scent and The Scent Intense off my skin. So for me, this is one I'm gonna be wearing in fall and winter, not really spring and summer. Unless maybe it's early on in spring and you've got one of those chilly kind of blustery days. Could work really well in that. And while this fragrance does seem to be geared toward nighttime wear, I think you can wear it daytime or night, whatever you wanna do. This fragrance, like I said at the beginning of the video, has started popping up at discounters. It's actually been popping up there for a little while now. As of this video, this fragrance is around $50 on FragranceNet for a 100 milliliter size bottle, which is this size here. That being said, as of me recording this, there are only a few in stock, so that means it's probably gonna sell out pretty quickly. But they have sold out in the past and they get more in and then sell out again and get more in. So if they do happen to sell out, you can just keep your eyes open and eventually it's gonna pop back up on there. eBay's a little more hit or miss. Sometimes the price will be up, sometimes it'll be down a little bit. Just depends on who's selling and how many they have in stock. As of this video, it's actually completely sold out on Fragrance Buy. And if you look on Fragrance X, they're asking about $70 for this. So as you can see, as of this video, there's a little bit of fluctuation in terms of the pricing at discounters. If at all possible, I would say your best bet is fragrance net, but as soon as they get stock in, they've been selling out, so you have to be quick on that. If they have it in stock for a good price and you really want this, I would suggest to go ahead and just scoop it up. Now compliments, is this a compliment getter? For me, yes. For you, I'm not sure. If you have the scent or the scent intense or you've worn those in the past, if those did well for you, this should do even better. If you have the scent or the scent intense or have worn those in the past and they did not do well for you, I'm not sure this is gonna make an enormous difference on that for you. 
My wife does really enjoy this fragrance, so she gave it a thumbs up. And then wearing it to the office and around town, I've had a couple of people ask me what I'm wearing. And that was in a positive way, not in a holy hell, what are you wearing that smells disgusting way. Just so we're on the same page. So while I would say that this is not a compliment monster, it's not something like Dior Sauvage. It's worked well for me, I've gotten positive feedback, and that's all I can ask for. And it doesn't hurt that just personally, this is a fragrance that I really like to smell myself. So even if people didn't compliment it, I would still wear it just because I like it. And really, to me, that's the most important thing. So there we go, guys. My take on Hugo Boss, the scent, Private Accord. To me, this takes the DNA of the scent, you know, the scent and the scent intense, and it refines that DNA, makes it richer, more interesting, and with more depth. The addition of the cacao and the coffee in this fragrance just really takes it to the next level. For me, it's a big thumbs up. I'm really glad that I own this bottle. I usually don't really promote blind buys, even though I do it all the time. If at all possible, do try to sample this one first before you buy it, but if it sounds really nice and you can get it for a good price and you want it, I say go for it. I was not let down at all. All right, guys, if you have smelled Hugo Boss The Scent Private Accord, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.